Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Not the free for like it and share to friend think might need it. For this song, the guitar is going to be in standard tuning. The instrument is going to be in open string, so you don't need a capo. First thing you're going to start off with is going to be the intro. First thing you're going to play is going to be an E minor. Play is going to be 6 string open, 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string open, 2nd string open, 1st string open. Drum pad is going to be down, 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 up, up. Then go to a D chord. That's gonna be 4th string open, 3rd string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret, 4th string 2nd fret And then go to C chord That's gonna be 5th string 3rd fret, 4th string 2nd fret, 3rd string open, 2nd string 1st fret and For the C chord, you're gonna play the strum pattern twice So down, 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 up, up So for the intro, you're just gonna repeat that about for about 3 times and then go into the verse So for the verse, you're gonna be playing what you play in the intro twice And then after you play it twice you're gonna start with a G chord. So that's gonna be 6 string 3rd fret, 5th string 2nd fret, 4th string open, 3rd string open, 2nd string open, and 1st string 3rd fret. You're gonna play the strum pattern here twice. So then you're gonna play a D over F sharp. So that's gonna be 6 string 2nd fret, 5th string open, 4th string open, 3rd string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret, 4th string 2nd fret. Play the same strum pattern. Then E minor, play sharp pattern here twice as always. Then after you play the E minor, you go to a C chord, play the same sharp pattern there. So and then strum down on C chord once. Then E minor once, and then D chord once. Then you go into the chorus. So for the chorus, it's going to be strumming each chord down once. So it's going to start with the G chord, strum down once. D over F sharp. Repeat the whole thing again. So G chord. And D over F sharp. And then E minor. And then C. And then you go to the next verse. Go to the next verse, next verse is going to play the same way for the previous verse Then go on to the next chorus So for the chorus, you're going to be playing the exact same chord progression But the strum pattern is going to be the same as the verse And then, after you get to the C chord You're going to do the strum pattern 4 times for the C chord So And then, C E minor, then D. And then you're just gonna repeat that for a couple of times, and that's how the song ends. So you can either strum those three chords once, or you can just play the strumming pattern for each of those chords. So. so you can just play that, and that's how the song ends. So that's how the whole song sounds like all together.
This video helped don't forget to leave a like subscribe to more videos like this check out if you think you might need it leave a comment down below on what to i see next and i'll see you next time